Namaste, Jai Hind. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Age Educator. In this video, we will discuss about the standard eight subject, Social Science, Chapter Number Twelve, Industries Holy Faith Workbook. I hope you may like the previous videos. I have uploaded many other chapters, Holy Faith Workbook uh, uh, solutions in my YouTube channel. And if you are not subscribed to channel, click on subscribe button to subscribe YouTube channels. Okay? So, जैसे भी video upload करूँगा, आपको notification मिलता रहेगा. जो दूसरे वीडियो अपलोड अपलोडेड है वो आप प्लेलिस्ट में जाके देख सकते हो अदरवाइज यू कैन फाइंड देम दोज इन अ वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन लिस्ट ये वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन से आप जाइए वहाँ पर चैप्टर वाइज अलग अलग लिंक वहाँ पर मैंने रखी हुई है ओके टेक्स्ट बुक एक्सरसाइज के सभी वीडियोज अवेलेबल है वहाँ पर वो भी आप जाके वहाँ पर देख सकते हो और अपने वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में जाकर भी वहाँ से डायरेक्टली लेके क्लिक करके ओपन कर सकते हो सो आपने सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सब्सक्राइब कीजिए जैसे मैं नया वीडियो अपलोड करूँगा तो आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहेगा ये चैनल के अंदर स्टैंडर्ड एट के साथ आपको स्टैंडर्ड सेवन नाइन्थ और टेंथ के रिलेटेड भी वीडियोज मिलेगी सोशल साइंस रिलेटेड टेक्सबुक एक्सरसाइज के सोल्यूशन आपको आराम से यहाँ से मिल जाएंगे एंड स्टिल इफ यू एवन इक्वेरी रिगार्डिंग दिस यू कैन सेंड मी द कमेंट्स आप कमेंट में देखिए उससे रिलेटेड में जितना हो सके उतना जल्दी वीडियो अपलोड करूंगा ये चैनल के अंदर ओके ले स्टार्ट एंड वर्कबुक के अंदर कोई कोई ऐसे आंसर है जो लॉन्ग दिए गए लेकिन उसे स्पेस वर्कबुक के अंदर थोड़ी कम दी गई है लाइन जो है वहाँ पर वो कम दी गई है तो वो आप ध्यान रखना आंसर लिखते समय अगर बड़ा आंसर है तो आप नोटबुक के अंदर भी वो लिख सकते हो ओके ले स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन दिस एंड नॉ सब्सक्राइब चैनल इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन तो सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल ओके मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट नंबर इज गिवन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एमसीक्यू दिए गए वर्कबुक के अंदर देखते हैं चलो ओके नंबर वन ओके वेर इज सिलीकन वैली लोकेटेड सो वेर इज सिलीकन वैली इज लोकेटेड सिलीकन वैली इज लोकेटेड ऑप्शन सी कैलिफोर्निया सेकेंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर नेचुरल फाइबर्स बी च्यूट इज अ नेचुरल फाइबर थर्ड नंबर ऑल ऑफ दो आयन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्री आर लोकेटेड इन विच कंट्री सो ऑल ऑफ द वट ऑफ द ऑप्शन आर गिवन देट मेजर हब्स ऑफ फॉर द इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी लोकेटेड इन बेंगलुरु इन इंडिया फिफ्थ नंबर इंडस्ट्री रन बाई गवर्नमेंट एंड इंडिविजुअल और ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इज नॉन एज अ जॉइंट सेक्टर कि सिक्स नंबर इंटर सॉरी इंडस्ट्रीज रन बाय फैमिलीज मेंबर्स विद लेस इन्वेस्टमेंट इज नॉन एज अ कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री सेवन नंबर फूड इंडस्ट्रीज इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ विच टाइप ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री सो फूड इंडस्ट्री इज एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री सी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर एट नंबर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज डेवलप्ड इंडस्ट्री ओके सो बी कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इज अ डेवलप्ड इंडस्ट्री Nine number. Which of the following is ownership based industry? So D is none of the above. Ten number. Large scale industries should have capital of okay option A ten crores or more than. Now fill in the blanks. The first number. Steel is also called backbone of modern industry. Steel is also called backbone of a modern industry. Okay. Second number. Pittsburgh. So fill in. is one of the most important centers of iron and steel industry in usa third number cotton textile industry is the oldest industries in the world fourth number the first mechanized textile mill was established in mumbai in 1854 and the first textile mill in india ke andar shuru hua thi mumbai 1854 ke andar ahmedabad is also known as manchester of india manchester city in england so it's known as manchester of india six number bangalore is also called as silicon valley silicon plateau okay the main uh, made fiber include nylon polyester rayons and acrylics these are the main made fiber and the wise located on the bank of which river sabarmati river in gujarat nine number osaka is a manufacturing center of japan okay match the appropriate pairs okay the long uh, appropriate pairs are given here we need to match them match the appropriate pairs okay so <coughs> answers are available here look at in the here cottage industry so cottage industry the d is a correct answer less investment the required cottage small industry micro industry is a correct answer up to 25 lakhs 
थर्ड स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री ओके ए इज अ करेक्ट आंसर के अंडर फाइव करोड़ एंड फिर फोर्थ नंबर इज अ मिनरल बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री सो ए इज अ करेक्ट सॉरी मिनरल बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री फोर बी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर केमिकल इंडस्ट्री फिफ्थ नंबर एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री सी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर ओके ऑयल इंडस्ट्री नेक्स्ट नंबर सिक्स मीडियम स्केल इंडस्ट्री जी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर मोर देन फाइव करोड़ बट लेस देन टेन करोड़ एंड नंबर सेवन इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी सो आई इज अ सिलीकन वैल्यू इज अ करेक्ट आंसर नाउ डिफरेंस बिटवीन पब्लिक सेक्टर एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन पब्लिक सेक्टर एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर सो टू टू पॉइंट नीड टू बी रिटर्न हि वर्क बुक के अंदर आपको लाइन दी गई है तो वहाँ आप दो पार्ट करके भी लिख सकते हो उसका और आप ओके जो दो दो या तीन लाइन दी गई है डिफरेंसेस लिखने के लिए डिफरेंसेस ये दो पार्ट में ही लिखा जाता है लेकिन वर्क बुक की इतनी स्पेस नहीं दी गई है तो आप नोटबुक के अंदर भी लिख सकते हो और वर्क बुक में मैनेज करके आप लिख सकते हो आंसर ओके सो पब्लिक सेक्टर so government owned uh, industries operate by the government so who own these industries government public sector means government owner industries and private sector any industries run an individuals or a group of uh, individuals now public sectors so that examples are mentioned hindustan aeronautical limited and steel authorities of india in the private sector so the tisco and reliance <coughs> okay second number second number agro based industries and mineral based industry agro based industry and mineral based industry so industries for which raw material so industries for which raw material obtained from agriculture from the agriculture that is a agro based industry material is obtained from the agriculture so it is called agro based industries same here mineral based industry those industry which are mineral ores those industry which use a mineral ores jo mineral ore ka use karte that is called a mineral okay a base industry some examples are given here like a food industries cotton textile industries vegetable industry they are using some product from the agriculture this is a agro based industry iron and steel industry they require iron ore so steel industry cement industry chemical industry they are on mineral based they are using mineral so these are consider mineral based industry okay next number third number hai agro based industries and forest based industry okay the agro based and forest based industry so industries for which raw material is obtained from agriculture again the agriculture previously we discussed that and food forest based so the uh, industry which use a forest and the products forest and is uske jo products hote as a raw material tarike uh, raw, raw material okay, use kiya jata hai uske andar okay so the raw materials are used there so it is considered as a forest based industry generally they depend on the uh, products of the forest second number here in the agro based industry these are the examples of and paper uh, industries okay pharmaceuticals industries paper industries furniture building industries these are the uh, examples of a forest based industries fourth number okay micro industries and a small scale industries okay micro industries and a small scale industries so for micro industries these industries are run with the investment with the 25 lakhs sorry 25 lakh rupees and they are fully labor intensive so uh, within a 25 lakhs or uske andar so micro so industry hoti hai uske andar within a 25 lakhs rupees spend kiye jate hai usse kam bhi ho sakte hai aur usse zyada jo aate hai to wo small scale industry ke andar aa jata hai small scale industry these industries produce goods within investment of uh, more than 25 lakhs rupees to less than 5 crore so 25 lakhs to 5 crore rupees to spend kiya jata hai investment kiya jata hai that industry comes under the small scale industry micro industry less than 25 lakhs or 25 or 25 lakhs less than this comes under the yeah, micro industries second number here okay examples are mentioned here making like a making of a, a artistic useful of thing like metal leather or soil extra come on the micro industry small scale industry implement uh, like a mending of uh, okay, making of uh, vehicles uh, industries producing usable things these are comes under this 
ओके स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री फिफ्थ नंबर मीडियम स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज अगेन द मीडियम स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज विच आर लेबर इंटेंसिव और कैपिटल इंटेंसिव लेबर और कैपिटल दोनों उसके अंदर यूज कैपिटल के ज़्यादा पैसे इन्वेस्ट किए जाते हैं इन्वेस्टमेंट और मोर देन फाइव करोड़ टू टेन करोड़ फाइव करोड़ टू टेन करोड़ रुपीज इन्वेस्ट किया जाता है दैट इंडस्ट्रीज कम ऑन द मीडियम स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज मेनली कैपिटल इंटेंसिव मोर के इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर हियर कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट मोर देन टेन करोड़ रुपीज आर इन्वेस्टेड इन इंडस्ट्रीज सो दिस कम्स अंडर द लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज सेकेंड नंबर एक्स मशीन लाइक दॉरी एग्जाम्पल मशीन मेकिंग इंडस्ट्री कलर केमिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इम्प्लीमेंट दे आर मीडियम स्केल एंड रेलवे इम्प्लीमेंट हैवी वहीकल्स आयन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्री दैट कम्स अंडर द लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज Now full form of Tesco, full form of a Tesco. So Tesco stands for Tata Iron and Steel Company. Tata Iron and Steel Company is who Jana Jata Tesco. Second number, what is a cooperative sector? So what is cooperative sector? So cooperative sectors industries are operated uh, and owned by the suppliers or support of a raw material or worker or both. So cooperative sector industries are owner. so operated and on by the supply supply means those pro, uh, those persons who are providing the product to those and selling into the market so those producer those who produce raw material and finally marketing ke the becha jata jo sath mein industrial owner aur sath mein milke banate hai these are considered as a okay uh, cooperative sector mana jata hai like amul that one of the cooperative sector hai mother dairy example of a cooperative sector jitne bhi ओके लाइक अमूल के अंदर जितने भी दूध देने के लिए जो जाते हैं वो सब उसके कोऑपरेटिव के अंदर इंक्लूड किया जाता है मतलब वो सप्लायर से जो रॉ मटेरियल सप्लाई करने का जो काम करते हैं ये वो उसको ऑनर माना जाता है कोऑपरेटिव सेक्टर के अंदर व्हाट इज एनिमल बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज एनिमल बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज इंक्लूड लाइक मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स meat leather industries these are come under the animal based industries okay Ex uh, explain medium scale industries medium scale industries medium scale industries are labor intensive industries with investment more than 5 to 10 crore rupees okay more than 5 to 10 crore rupees jo are they come under the medium scale industry fifth and what is small scale industries okay small scale industries that also as per the uh, uh, okay investment more than 25 lakhs and less than 5 crores this comes under the uh, small scale industries investments and labor work what is private sector so private sector that industry is run by individual or group of in, in individuals it is considered as a private sector industry okay individual any uh, individual person who is running a number of uh, 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 the groups may be run one industries. This comes under the like, Tesco's and the lines. These are the examples of these industries. Okay, what does industry word means? What is the meaning of an industry here? So, meaning of industry is a fruit or result of any work or labor or activity which is used by man. for his needs. Whatever is produced in industry and which are useful for the human beings. some things which is produced and which are fruitful which are useful to the human being this consider it may be done by the labor work it may be done by the uh, yeah, okay, machinery work there and uh, which is used by the human needs which fulfill the human needs which is known as a industry industry can be defined as activities that changes the from a, a raw material by mechanical and aid as uh, a increase in the usefulness so something which is processed some raw material which is processed and uh, they transfer into the usefulness like a finished product final product or usko change karke koi koi product banaya jata hai wo hamare liye useful hota hai okay increase and usefulness uska zyada hota hai this kind of uh, okay usko hum industry bol sakte hain Now, what was Sachchi Sujan? Oh, sorry, why was Sachchi Sujan to set up the steel plant? Okay, Jamshed Ji, Tata Jamshed, presently Sachchi is known as Jamshedpur. That why it was chosen? Why okay, Tata Industries was established first time? I mean, steel industry there. Reason is because of it was a third, just twenty, okay, just thirty-two kilometer away from Kal uh, Kalinati uh, station on the Bengal 
uh, Nagpur railway line okay that Bengal as transportation easily available here over there in addition to iron ore okay that uh, coal and manganese uh, mines it was also to okay that close to the Kolkata where huge market also available okay in addition to iron ore also around the Nazik Mil Sakta the manganese mine Pima for Nazik Mayiti so it was chosen that to establish a steel plant in a Chaksi okay uh, adequate water resources are available as from the okay Kharkai rivers and Surna Rikha rivers Maha Parthi so around the Pani Maha Se Mil Sakta tha, adequate water tha Maha Par so sir, it was chosen and steel plant was established there and presently known as Jamshedpur. So remember what are the factors okay, chosen to set up steel plant, what factors are needed. So while setting the, set up the factors, which, sorry, uh, when we set up the industry, some factors are uh, required, which are there. Some location like factors affecting the location of industries are the availability of raw material. Chamber Aram said raw material available, one industry lagai. So transportation of raw material ka cost wo kam ho jayega. So land, water, labor, power, capital, and transport and the markets. These are the some factors which are okay, affecting the locations of industries. So industries are situated, uh, situated where some or all of these factors are easily available. All of these factors means that land, water, labor, power, and those capitals. Iron and steel industries. The iron and steel industries requires a very large investment iron and steel industry large investments and this is a, a feeder industries where produce is used as a raw material for other industries iron and steel is a number of product produced there both are products which can produce for the iron and steel small pins like a large machine either those products are used in industry ke liye bhi wo use kiya jate. Okay? as a raw material in industry mein. so this inputs for industries include like labor capital location and other infrastructure facilities and raw materials such as iron or coal and limestone ka iske andar use kiya jata labor work bhi hota hai machinery bhi hoti hai iske andar large scale industries hai so the process of converting iron ore into steel involve many stages so when we extract the iron from the iron ore from the earth so they it takes a number of stages to okay, transfer from iron ore to the okay, final iron or steel can the transfer karne ke liye uske the process lagti hai ke andar and the raw material is put in the blast furnace how the raw material whatever the raw material which is extracted from the earth they mix with the soil and both are mineral mix under okay so usko uske andar pure iron nikalne ke process hoti hai furnace ke andar fir se dala jata hai then it was purified thereafter steel is obtained from this iron ore out for which used by the other industries raw material like other industries raw material this steel industry the number of industry based on a steel okay jo bhi industry hai jo iron ke steel ke based industry hai wo inka wo use karenge iron ka wo use karenge like fan fan banane ki industry hai to fan banane ki uske banane ke usko iron steel ki zarurat padegi okay utensil banane ke steel ki bahut sare aise industry hai to steel ka indirectly indirect machinery banane ki industry hai vehicle banane ki industry hai there number of okay automobile industries are there so they used iron and steel uh, directly okay from that uh, steel industry that's their raw material so steel is a tough but can easily be shaped and cut or made into wire so that the shape up they sakte usko alloys of steel can be made by adding small adding small amount of other metals such as aluminium nickel and copper steel ke andar hum aluminium nickel aur copper bhi usko add karke alloys banaya jata mixture banaya jata hai aur usko alag alag tarike se hum use bhi kar sakte hain steel is often coal backbone of a modern industries okay that because number of industries are depend on the steel and steel industry so that is considered backbone of industry almost everything we use is made of either iron or steel there from small pin to large machine number of things directly indirectly we use those iron in our daily life so steel is large used in manufacturing vehicle trains trucks construction of our ports and number of we use the okay uh, this steel or iron so in India, the iron and steel industries has developed uh, because advance, uh, advantage of uh, having access of raw material, cheap labor, transportation and market. Because of these things, iron and steel industries developed in uh, okay, India. Now, 
भिलाई दुर्गापुर बुरहनपुर जमनगर राउरकेला ओके बारा ओके बोकारो एंड इम्पोर्टेंट सेंटर्स ऑफ आयन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्री कॉटन एंड टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज सो नाउ सो विविंग क्लोथ फ्रॉम यान इज एन एंशियन आर्ट यान सो विविंग क्लोथ फ्रॉम आयान अलग अलग थ्रेड के अंदर पहले थ्रेड जो कॉटन और कॉटन के जो थ्रेड बनाए जाए थ्रेड के अंदर यान बना यान के अंदर से हम कापड़ बनाए जाते क्लोथ बनाते हैं सो इट्स एंशियन इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया इंडियन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इज वन ऑफ द एंशियन वर्ल्ड सो कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट इंडस्ट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड कॉटन टेक्सटाइल नॉट इंडिया इज ओल्डेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड सो इंडिया इज अ ग्लोरियस ट्रेडिशन ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग हाई क्वालिटी ऑफ अ कॉटन फेब्रिक सो हाई क्वालिटी ऑफ कॉटन फेब्रिक इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम इंडिया सिंस एंशियन टाइम्स नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक फेमस फ्रॉम इंडिया पटोन आर डिफरेंट सारीज इंडिया इज वर फेमस इवन एम्ब्रॉयडरी वर्क ऑन दोज क्लोथ वॉज वर्ल्ड फेमस बिफोर द ब्रिटिश रूल इन ओके इंडियन हैंड वुवन क्लोथ हैंड वुवन क्लोथ ओके ऑलरेडी हैड वाइड मार्केट इन फॉरन कंट्रीज ऑल्सो हैंड वुवन वर्क the production of a hand woven cotton textile was a time consuming and expensive hand woven okay pehle itni industry nahi thi to hath se kaam zyada kiya jata tha time consuming aur wo expensive bhi bahut zyada tha wo so hence the traditional cotton textile industries could not compete with the mechanized textile of west west matlab when the european arrived in india and the in the western side european when industrialization began there so इंडिया के अंदर इंडस्ट्री की शुरुआत नहीं हुई थी वेस्ट के अंदर थी तो वहाँ से वो कापड़ क्लोथ मार्केट के अंदर इंडिया के अंदर सेल किया जाता था सो इंडियन हैंडीक्राफ्ट इंडस्ट्री कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री कैन नॉट कम्पीट कैन नॉट सर्वाइज अगेंस्ट द वेस्टर्न कंट्री अगेंस्ट यूरोपियन के इंडस्ट्रीज द फर्स्ट सक्सेसफुल मिकेनाइज टेक्सटाइल वॉज स्टार्टेड इन मुंबई द फर्स्ट टेक्सटाइल मिल कहाँ शुरू हुई थी इंडिया के अंदर सबसे टेक्सटाइल मिल की शुरुआत है मुंबई एटीन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फोर 1854 AD के अंदर इंडिया के अंदर फर्स्ट टेक्सटाइल मिल की शुरुआत हुई वो भी मुंबई के अंदर ओके देन सो कोयम्बतौर कानपुर चेन्नई अहमदाबाद मुंबई कोलकाता ओके दिजादा लुधियाना दिज आर प्रोड्यूसिंग सम दिज आर द टेक्सटाइल सेंटर्स इन इन इंडिया टूडे इंडिया चाइना जापान यूएसए आर द मेजर प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ अ कॉटन टेक्सटाइल चाइना जापान यूएसए इंडिया दिज आर द मेजर प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ अ कॉटन टेक्सटाइल फोर्थ नंबर इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ओके जनरली आईटी से भी जाना जाता है इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ओके द इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इंडस्ट्रीज ब्रिंग्स कलेक्शंस प्रोसेसिंग्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशंस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इनटू अ प्रैक्टिस सो सम इंफॉर्मेशन विच आर अवेलेबल जनरली सॉफ्टवेयर मेकिंग और रिलेटेड समथिंग देर दिस इंडस्ट्री कम्स इन द इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी कलेक्शन प्रोसेसिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन द डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिस एंड दे प्रोवाइड द डेटा टू द ह्यूमन बींग वेरियस वेज Like currently, the industries become the global and uh, technology, politics, socio-economic changes have been made it possible. We are using this IT, that information technology in various ways in the in our daily life. The main factors that determine the geographical location of the industries are facilities are for research, availabilities of monies, and structures of the research are available in India. So, information technology was spread in the countries, India. Now the main centers for the information technology industries are Silicon Valley in California and Bangalore in India. So main IT hub जो जाना जाते हैं वो Silicon Valley California के अंदर है और दूसरा US California USA and India के अंदर जाए Bangalore South India के अंदर ओके Bangalore in India. Osaka that another important centers of japan osaka is an important textile manufacturing center of japan cotton textile manufacturing centers of japan okay and it is also called the manchester of japan manchester is the name of a city in england where it is an industrial hub jada industry sabse pehle cotton textile ki industry ki bhi wahan par shuruaat hui thi to japan ke osaka ko uske sath compare kiya jata hai the extensive plain the extensive plains are around osaka ensure easy okay availabilities of a uh, land for the development of uh, cotton textile mills expensive plains so those uh, plain area which are very useful for uh, transportation even easily uh, set up industry electricity is easily available so this plain area of osaka the textile mill is set up in the osaka the humid climate is very suitable for uh, weaving and spinning 
that uh, Yodo River provides sufficient water for mill. The rivers Yodo in Osaka. Labor is easily available uh, in the Japan. The geographical locations of the port facilities okay, facilitates what they provide facil facilities the import of a raw material and export of a textile import of raw material they used to import a cotton from the different country and used to export that okay, cotton that cloth into the different markets. Same Osaka textile industries is based uh, entirely on the imported raw materials imported raw material they import raw material from the okay, egypt india china they were cotton import kiya jata hai. then they final product with the country can sell karte. so the cloth produced there is mostly exported most of they were exported in you know, different countries six number tata iron and steel company tisco janazada generally tata iron and steel company limited was privately owned company and Tisco was started in 1907. Subsequently, the textile industry, iron industry, 1907. Sakchi now came to be known as Jamshedpur. Jamshed ji, ne ye shuruaat ki thi. Iske wajah se usko Jamshedpur se jana jata hai. Near the confluence, confluence merge of two rivers. So unna dekha in Karka river jo dono milti hi, wahan par se shuruaat hui thi. Sakchi was chosen to set up a steel plant for several reasons. What the different reason? The reason is it was just 32 km away from Kalina, Kalimati River station and on the base on the Bengaluru Nagpur railway line. So, this is a question that why Sakchi was chosen. So, there was a Kalimati, Kalinati, and it was spelling correct. Kalinati, why Sakchi was chosen, chosen to set up the steel plant. The reason is that Kalinati was there, Kalimati was there, spelling correct. Railway line. So, in addition to iron ore, coal, manganese mines, it was also close to the Kolkata where the huge markets was available. This cause obtained coal from the okay, Jahiria coal field, Jaria coal field, and iron ore, limestone, dolomite, manganese from the Odisha and Chhattisgarh. So, wo Nazdiki state hai aur aram se wahan se mil jaate to wahan par unhone set up kiya. Adequate water resources are available from Kharka and Suvarnadikha river. Another the development of iron and steel industries open the doors to the rapid industrial development in India because of development of iron and steel industry number of other industries also have been developed in countries India almost all the sectors of India's industries heavily dependent on the iron and steel industries for the basic infrastructure so each and every factor industry the basic infrastructure required in that infrastructure they required iron and steel steel ke zarurat hoti infrastructure banane ke liye so they totally depend on iron and steel so iron and steel industry is considered backbone of indian industries so types of a raw material based industries based on for types of raw material based industries agro based industries so those industry based on agriculture on agro agro agriculture products so industry for which raw material is obtained from agriculture are called agro based industries Food industries, cotton and uh, linen textile industries, vegetable oil industries, these are the example of agro base. Same animal animal based industries, those industries, so industries include milk and its products, meat industries and leather industry, those they depend on animal products, these are animal based industry. Third, marine based industry, fish processing industries as well as use of uh, minerals obtained from the oceans are included in these industries in okay, marine based industry fourth forest based industry do depend on forest so industry include like a paper industry pharmaceutical companies some furniture and building these are mineral based industry this industry include they depend on the minerals they use raw material as a minerals okay, they include like iron and steel industries cement industries chemical industries these are the example ownership based industries okay ownership based industries like public sector public sector government sector so government on this industry operated by government such as hindustan aeronautical limiteds and authorities of india steel authorities of india second private sector okay this industry is run by the individual or group of individuals such as tisco individual or now cooperative sectors so government plus जो भी उसके जो people है लोग है उसके members है वो दोनों साथ में मिलके चलाते हैं सर industries are owned by the producers of raw materials 
and workers or both are both are the run by the only that is okay, this cooperative sector is runs by those who provide raw materials there and those work jahan par kaam karte wo jo raw material provide karne wale wale hote wahi uske owner hote wo saath mein milke wo chalate okay and इसमें प्राइवेट और पब्लिक सेक्टर नहीं आता प्राइवेट और गवर्नमेंट का यहाँ हस्तक्षेप नहीं रहता है जो भी रॉ मटेरियल प्रोवाइड करते हैं लाइक अमूल है अमूल के अंदर जो मिल्क प्रोवाइड करने वाला जो भी है वो सभी इसके ऑनर माने जाते हैं तो मदर डेयरी है मदर डेयरी के अंदर भी यही सेम है सो दैट कोऑपरेटिव सेक्टर सब साथ में मिल चलाते हैं कि जितने भी रॉ मटेरियल प्रोवाइडर है उसके काम करने वाले वर्कर जो है वो दोनों साथ में मिल सब साथ में मिल सेक्टर चलाते हैं अमूल आनंद मिल्क यूनियन लिमिटेड मदर डेरी दिज एक्सलेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस कोऑपरेटिव सेक्टर ज्वाइंट सेक्टर इज ऑन बाय द गवर्नमेंट एंड द इंडिविजुअल गवर्नमेंट और इंडिविजुअल प्राइवेट फैक्टर जो होते हैं सेक्टर जो होते हैं वो साथ में मिलकर चलाते हैं ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स दैट इज ज्वाइंट सेक्टर मारुति लिमिटेड इज एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस ज्वाइंट सेक्टर इंडस्ट्री सो हॉप यू लाइक दिस वीडियोज दिस आर दिन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व वर्क बुक textbook extra is already uploaded here still if you have any queries you can send me the email otherwise you can send me in the video comments okay and if you are not subscribed subscribe to channels i hope this like videos share with your friends thank you jai hind